think he's having a mad half hour here and um, having seen him I thought this has got to be a good fun to film and the minute I turn the camera on he's um, calming down slightly but he's been funny he's been so funny with these toys bouncing about back and forth he's really enjoying himself This orange toy here, it's uh, practically the size of his head, but he chucks it. Hello. Uh, 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 we don't touch hot coffee. No. Go get your toys. Where's your toys? Yes, go get them. I mean, some of these toys have uh, been in the washer. They've been Betsy's old ones that she doesn't bother with anymore, so... He's making good use of them. But the orange one was bought especially for him. And I didn't realise when I looked online how big it was. Um, but he loves it. He loves it very much. It's nice and bright. And uh, he's a frisky little bugger. Yeah, he's, he certainly enjoys his own company, which he's got no choice really, because um, Boo Boo, Betsy Boo Boo's still not entertaining him uh, to the extent that she'll engage with him. And it's still all about her trying to get away from him, to be honest. But you know what? He's not really giving, uh, taking it from her, and he's uh, he gives it her every time she passes him he'll chase after him. He started to bark back at her now when she growled at him. Um, he's not bothered by her. I just hope that um, eventually that she is going to engage with him because otherwise he's going to get bigger and stronger and he's going to be the one that uh, picks on her in a way that she no longer can defend herself. So that is one worry that I have at the moment because um, he's got four legs, he's getting stronger every day, she's an old lady and um, he's not at all frightened by her shouting at him. He's quite fearless actually at the moment. It doesn't, it, it, I think on the first day he was submissive the first couple of days when she used to tell him what for but now he just sees it as a challenge. Another thing is he's uh, pleased me again because he's um, using the mat to wee and uh, poo so it's not um, stopped me finding little presents off the mat but you know it's a start and he has only been here since Tuesday and it's only Saturday today so I can't complain. Yeah, he's having a good time. I mean, that toy's old rubber, so uh, it's good for him teething as well. It's got a tiny um, tennis ball inside, which I can't imagine he'll get to at this age, but maybe when he's uh, a bit older, that might just be, be chewed up. <laughs> he does like it, though. He's a frisky little bugger. Good fun. Yeah, he's good fun. And I'm glad that he's, um, you know, finding things to do that please him. Because he, if he was an only dog, um, it'd be a shame if he wasn't a happy dog. But he seems to be very happy in his little world. <laughs> Just got to check in because he has a habit of uh, pulling the house to pieces, don't you, cheeky boy? Yeah. Right. I think that's enough of uh, Inky Diaries for now. Cheerio.